glasses. They're on your head. Oh. Yeah, fine. Where's the newspaper? You're sitting on it. Oh. Oh, fine. Land of Goshen, another baby. That's the man, isn't it? Say. That's a funny one. Fifty pounds and chop it fine. This is Uncle Beck. What do you mean, fifty pounds and chop it fine? Well, I thought you were Arthur. Who's Arthur? He's the man I intend to marry. Oh, uh, don't tell me anything about it. I'm only your father. I can read in the newspaper. What does he do for a living? Well, he's the ice man. An ice man? Yeah, he goes to college. He's a Cornell man. Red Grange was an ice man. He's still an ice man as far as I'm concerned. Put it down there and get out. Okay. Go. And set. Now you're so smart. How are you going to get it in the ice box? I'll put it in myself. Listen, don't ever do that. Back to me. I've been waiting for you. I'll meet you on the first tee. I'll be up over. Okay, Charlie, okay. I'll be over in a half a tick. Okay, come on. Come on. Did you put the ice in the ice box? Yeah. How'd you do it? Easy. Where are my golf clubs? In your golf bag. Yeah, it was the golf bag. You just fell over it. Yeah, I'll say that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know. And all that good old grass. Well, that's an What's my first appointment this morning? Miss Pippitone at 10.30. Well, I just have time for 18 holes. Where's my cap? You never wear any. Oh, yeah, that's right. Where's the ice? In the ice box. There's just a little piece left. Now I'll have to get some more. Yeah, keep that ice man out of here. I'm going to order a fresh of air. Well, that's mine. Oh, yeah. Well, we can't look for it all day. We've been out at 20 minutes now, and i got to get back to the office half past 10. I'm going to drop another ball. Okay, drop another. If it isn't unfair to either of you gentlemen, I can tell you where the ball is. Where? Under that leaf. Thanks. If it isn't in for the other one, I wish we'd been looking for the ball 20 minutes. Four! I'd wait a minute, they're still on the green. Well, let them get out of the way. This is certainly a great game for your health. in a sprinkler connection may be dropped without penalty, no near the hole. Get those teeth out of that too, they're right in my line. Two. You can't. 
can't do that. What do you mean I can't do it? Read the card. You had two... Don't you What? Don't... You had two... Don't quibble, don't quibble, don't quibble, don't. Snap the little hole, Roger, big fella. Yes, it is. Now, Marcy Niblet. Marcy Niblet. Oh. 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 Uh, having a basket party over there? Look at those ducks. How oh. are oh, they going to play golf with that kind of thing? Don't stand there! Stand over there! The ducks have drawn me off. Hold it again. Don't stand behind me when I'm shooting. You told me to stand over there, sir. Never mind where I told you to stand. You stand where I tell you. That kid's a dummy doesn't know what time it is. Hey, by the way, what time is it? I don't know. 10.15. Shut up, will you? Now stand clear and keep your eye on the ball. Oh, wait, you can't do that. What do you mean I can't do that? do anything I want it to. to. Take this golf course and... Hello, Joe. Hi, Doc. How about a little golf? I uh, just threw my clubs away. <laughs> what, again? Yeah, the funniest thing happened. I'm taking my second stroke. I beat an old geezer on the sconce with my ball. Right near the green was headed for the pin. The ball rolls back into a water connection. I pick it up, drop it over my shoulder. It dribbles down into the hole. I'm down in two. Well, uh... What do you mean, well? They gave me the same argument. I'm down in two. Look at the back of the car. They wanted me to do it over again after I had a fine drop. All right, so well, I... <laughs> oh, my. Good night, darling. Where's the soap? It's in your hand. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Tomorrow, Doc. Uh, what time? Oh, about. No, I won't be able to go. Why not? I'm going duck shooting. Well, I went along. And I said, boy, you should have been there. I took this mashing nibble. Oh! Took the straight oh! shot with a pen. It pings this old geezer. Down into the water connection it goes. Coming back. What oh! the hell with that? Drops into the water connection. I pick it up and drop it over my shoulder and down into the hole it goes. Well, I'll give you a ring tomorrow, Doc. Okay. Well, they weren't up. He could have fried eggs on the back of his neck. Oh! Tell you what. Oh. How you doing? Will you sit down? Put it in here, please. You won't hurt my leg, will you? My doctor says I have a very bad leg. Your doctor is off his nut. I don't believe in doctors anyway. There's a doctor who lives right down the street here. Treated a man for yellow jaundice for nine years. Then found out he was a chap. You know a little dog bit me Dr. the other Kulikar. day. He bit me right here. Dog bit you? Yes. It was a little bash hound. Oh, yeah. It was a little tiny dog. Mm -hmm. And he came right up behind me and bit me right like that. Mm. And I was standing with my back to it. And here he was, this little dog, who mm -hmm. bit me right here. You're rather fortunate it wasn't a Newfoundland dog that bit you. You sit down. Shall I use gas? Well, gas or electric light. I'd feel nervous to have you fool around me in the dark. <laughs>
Come on, we didn't tell her now. I just wasn't looking at that. <laughs> Come on, come on now. I'll try not to be so cruel this time. Come on, come on. Oh, Doctor, I can't let you do that again. Mm. Oh. She has a three o'clock appointment. I wouldn't care if she had a four o'clock appointment. Bar when I was in Dodge Ealing, oh, it was tigers. Well, tell her I'm out. Don't go out there and tell her I'm out. Now they go. I don't know. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Sit down. And I told you to go out and tell one of these palookas that I'm out. Go out and tell them I'm out. Don't have these buzzards walking on me. Hard one, I don't want to see them, I know. Just come into the line. Haven't I seen your face somewhere before? Oh, well, probably you've seen me at the horse show. Jockey? Sir? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Can you open your mouth? Uh, come on now. You've got a bigger mouth than that opener. Hmm. Oh, beautiful. Hmm. Hand me that uh, 404 circular bus saw, will you? Mm-hmm. Dropping, 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 dropping. Is that a 404 conical in there? Mm-hmm. Uh,
Why, it came out easily, didn't it? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. It was a surprise to me. Open your mouth. Uh, excuse me, just, uh... Two strikes on the boys, eh? Huh? Any surviving? Thank you. I can't find his mouth. Hand me that stethoscope, will you? Will you say ah, oh, please? Ah, oh. again? Ah, oh. again? Ah, oh. I almost had a thing again. Ah, oh. ah, huh? ah, oh. 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 it is. Ah, oh. and a very pretty thing too. <laughs> Let me see now. Tell me that drill. Thank you. Now just open your mouth. Can't hurt. Okay. You can't say that hurt you. Oh, you're the guy that hit my pot in the head. Yeah, you want to make anything out of it? 
I'd like to see you do that again. Is it necessary for him to do it again? No. <clears throat> Father, you're not really going to buy a fridge there, are you? Fifty pounds will make it snappy. <laughs> 